long hold for the drivers. Green light and go. Good start then from Donnelly. Great from Upton as well. They go side by side. Donnelly gets the lead into the first corner. And Toehill's down into third place, nearly fourth position because Thomas is now on his inside there. So it's Donnelly from Ovenden now from Thomas and Toehill from Pole is down into P4. Goes Joker first lap for Toehill. Wants to keep himself out of trouble, gets some clean air whilst the rest of the field continue on through. So into the technical gravel section we go and it's the reigning champion Mark Donnelly that leads the way. He needed that luck, let's not forget, because as I said before this, he was sitting in seventh in the standings after the three qualifying heats. And it's not gone well at all for him. It's not going well for Tristan Upton either. Problems for the 72. We saw some bodywork flying off the car. And now the Kent Pace driver is going to be either languishing at the bottom or not finishing this race. And I think it could be a broken bit of suspension there for Ovenden because his tar looks like it's cramming from what I can see from my commentary position. And that is not good at all for the Citroen DS3 driver. Let's hope for his sake that it's not going to be a day ender for Ovenden then. Meanwhile, Derek Toehill now sits in second place. Roger Thomas goes Joker. I think there might have been contact between Ovenden and Thomas because it looks like some bodywork is missing. Yeah, you can see the front bumper, the front uh, bonnet, I should say, missing from the number 95's car. And he's got a puncher on the front left there as well. So that's not ideal at all there for Roger Thomas. So his day, weekend even, goes from bad to worse. And somehow he's able to keep that number 95 on the straight and narrow despite only having three wheels on his wagon. So what drama here for Roger Thomas if you forget what happened in Lyndon Hill back in May. Well, he, of course, ended up uh, with a, a car that was on fire, effectively. And it didn't end at all well for him back at Lyndon Hill in May. Anyway, Donnelly goes Joker. I was just saying that because, of course, Thomas is uh, weekend going from bad to worse. He's just a poor kind of luck for the number 95. Anyway, Donnelly goes Joker then. He now has a, the lead over Derek Toehill, so it's the top two that lead the way. But we're only going to have two cars by the looks of things finishing this race. Ovenden is crawling around. You can see broken right rear suspension quite easily on the number 72's machine. That's not good at all there for him. Thomas looks like he's uh, either crawling around or stopped on the circuit, the number 95. So that's not good at all for him. And now Derek Tohill is continuing his pursuit of the race leader of Mark Donnelly then. Over the timing line they go. Lap three out of four. We're on the penultimate run here at Pembrey. I can still see from our commentary points that Upton is trying to crawl round but it's not good at all for him. And the thing is, he's going to start getting in the way of the rest of the field that come through as Toehill makes a bit of contact with the back of the reigning champion, Mark Donnelly. So through the gravel section they go. They're going to flick it right. They're going to flick it left. You can just see Ovenden's car in the foreground there, moving off onto the grass. Sensible there from the 72. More contact with Toehill. He pushes Donnelly wide. They come side by side on the exit. And Derek Toehill goes into the lead on the penultimate lap then. So the number 111, who started from pole position and was plumb last at the first corner, now takes over at the front. Fantastic driving from the Irishman. Donnelly, the reigning champ, is going to have to try anything, everything possible, to get himself back in contention for this lead. But I don't know if he's going to be able to overhaul Toehill's Fiesta here. We're on the final lap now for Q4 of the supercars. And what a frenetic start to the day's racing for these guys. It has proven to be so far. Onto the technical gravel section in the first sector we go for the final time then of asking. They're flicking it left, they're flicking it right, then they're flicking it left again into the hairpin, onto the straight, and it's Derek Toehill with a clear track in front of him and extending that advantage corner by corner over Mark Donnelly. Fantastic driving from Toehill. And that is exactly what he needs. He only sat fifth in the standings after the third heat. And he comes over the line to take a very commanding win in Q4, race one for the supercars here at Pembrey. Mark Donnelly comes home in second position. I think Roger Thomas is just going to limp home into third place. Ovenden, sadly, looks like he will be a DNF following the earlier dramas that he had. There is Roger Thomas's number 95 Ford Fiesta, which is looking very worse for wear indeed following that contact. But, well, a dramatic start for the supercars here. Two cars out of contention, two cars battling for the win. Derek Toehill taking the honours in Q4 race one. And we've still got another race to come shortly.